passwords alone are as insecure as I was in high school. Let's talk to Nitin and find out how Citrix Workspace uses FIDO2. Where people meet tech and tech meets people. Between the clouds. Big, big guest here today on the show. We have Nitin Sharma. Thanks, John. And uh, super excited to talk to you today because FIDO2 is making the rounds. It's really creating a lot of buzz. What is FIDO2, first off? You know, most folks that are working in an enterprise environment know they have to change their password every 90 days and you have to have a yep. 12 letters, symbols mixed in. Your password can't be your old password. It resembles it too much. FIDO2 is actually really unique technology. It's actually pretty, and I like to steal this from one of our colleagues, Jason Samuel, saying it's as a big step for security is HTTP going to HTTPS. It's just like that new way of, of logging in, you know, increasing security for the enterprise, but not making a cumbersome experience for the end user. But FIDO goes beyond the passwords now. Is it what, you know, rating, you know, biometrics? Yeah, so it's a set of technologies that um, are supposed to revolutionize the way that an end user can log in or authenticate. So. Yeah. They could range from biometrics, like a thumbprint reader um, on a physical machine or a, a USB stick to even um, web cameras, like integrating with uh, Windows Hello, basically removing the idea to, to have to have a password. So I'm hoping that you're going to tell me and the, our listener that if, if I'm using biometrics, like I use biometrics on Windows 10, facial recognition, I use thumbprint on my Android phone to get in. Is Citrix Workspace using that as well? Yes, so it used to be that you, if you wanted to leverage FIDO2 capabilities within a virtual app and desktop session, there was a really cumbersome way of doing it. You had to move in, do, you know, have to manipulate some of the, the files and registries to be able to take advantage of that. We released FIDO2 support within the actual VDA last year. And um, what that did was supply the capabilities of doing FIDO2 uh, support within a, a virtual session, a virtual desktop session. So no more slugging away and, you know, entering my password in, you know, again to launch a virtual session. Correct. Well, actually, when, even when you're in the virtual session, you can, Ooh. if you're logging into any sort of system or app that requires um, an authentication, it will actually recognize that you're on a machine that has either a USB key that's a uh, FIDO2 USB key, or that you have a Windows laptop that has um, Windows Hello or biometric capabilities within it. And it'll actually read that hardware um, even when you're in the virtual session. If I'm in a virtual session, launch a, a SaaS app, let's say a web app, it can actually read the facial recognition using, using the local camera to authenticate me so I don't have to keep entering in those clunky old passwords. Correct. There's like one thing I wanted to touch on. Um, so, so if you're an enterprise, I know smart card has prevalent usage um, within the enterprise. They may not be using uh, FIDO2. The interesting thing about our solution is um, you can use both. They don't, they're two separate virtual channels. So you could have both in your enterprise as you eventually get your users used to the workflow to move over to passwordless biometric capabilities in, in, instead of the, the smart card aspects or use both in, together could be some specific reasons. Now that people or that the person, our viewer, has fallen in love with Citrix Workspaces and FIDO2 and Nit and Sharma, uh, where do they learn more? I like to point people to their citrix.com slash blog site. We do a really good job of highlighting all the latest and greatest features and capabilities there. And you could even get engaged with us, like we'll answer the comments there. And I mean, even engage, like I'm on Twitter, Nitin Sharma underscore one. So you can ask me questions there. Uh, hey, Nitin, I'm going to come at you from left field and give you the random question of the day. Let's bring you back to when you were middle school. Uh, Saturday morning, what's your go-to cereal? It was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's that or, oh, okay. or Smacks. We have covered everything from Fido to Citrix Workspaces and breakfast cereals. And I can't thank you enough for joining me. This has been amazing. So we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.